Hello and welcome to part 6 of the DOS Daggerfall Let's Play. Um, yeah, as I keep saying, I'm recording a bit late, so I'm not really too tired per se, but it's it's pretty late. Um, I just recorded a pretty long session of, uh, that modding series that I'm doing, um, longer, a lot longer than I expected, it was like, <laughs> almost two hours of recording and like i don't know probably like four or five hours of just doing it in general re you know reading and researching while before i even started recording and stuff it was uh quite a lot uh, i mean I, I learned some important things from it so that's good but it was uh pretty exhausting how how much it was um i didn't even do the uh editing like i normally would immediately after i was like I don't feel like doing the editing tonight. So, yeah. I think I'm just going to record this session and probably go to bed. But uh, anyway, in the last session, we I made a bunch of uh, big arsenal of spells, basic spells and stuff that will be used probably very frequently. Most of, or many of them, at least. Um... And I said, all right, let's go and find, uh, see what Lady B wants. With news from the Emperor, I guess. Um, but yeah, let's get started then. Oh, wait. Uh, I thought it was a little bit loud. Gotta turn the volume down to, like, 60. There we go. Much better. Shut the hell up, birds. My god. Jeez. Alright. So she is in this inn. There she is. Oh, man. Frame rate is not great in this place. I'm actually curious to see why. Uh, eh. Guess it's maybe just all the sprites in one place or something the game doesn't like. Which makes sense, I suppose. But here she is. Our fair Lady B. Ah, thank you for responding to my letter, Sinia. I am Lady B. Brisin... Brisini... Brisini... Brisena... Brisena... Whatever. I'm Lady B. Let me bring you to date on affairs. The specter of King Lysandus haunts the streets of Daggerfall at night. Trying to communicate with him is futile. He will occasionally moan the word vengeance, but this is the only coherent word I have, I have ever heard, heard, I have ever heard him utter. It's weird that she. I don't know. It's strange. If you are ever in Daggerfall, do not. Do not wander the city at night. You are certain to be attacked by his legion of ghosts. It would be probably more gainful to investigate those who might have wronged Lysandus to find the cause behind his torment. I do not know if the royal family of Daggerfall or another person or persons merit more suspicion. The major powers of the bay, Sentinel, Wayrest, and Daggerfall may be good places to start. Continue. Any... In the matter of the letter, the Emperor's agent says that he was unable to hand deliver to, queen, to the Queen because of the war. He hired a courier who supposedly delivered the letter in his steed. We do not even know the name of the courier. Obviously, there is little information of use, but it would be worthwhile to see whether the letter arrived at Castle Daggerfall at all. How you decide to do this is entirely your decision. I will contact you if any new information should surface. I'm leaving Daggerfall soon. My position here has been compromised and my life is in danger. Do not mention my name in court. It is more likely to hurt than help. Good luck and watch your back, Sinia. Okay. Fair enough. Um. I don't know if Lady... I honestly don't know if Lady B, uh, she probably gets in contact with you again, because if you don't, supposedly, this, it, this is supposed to be what happens, I guess. If you don't go and see her, uh, after, like, a full 90 days, like, she switches places, like, two, three times and gives you a month each time, and if you don't see her, she starts sending, like, <laughs> 
assassins, supposedly, because, you know, it's like, oh, clearly you're, uh, you're a traitor if you're not gonna get involved with this shit or whatever. Um, kind of weird. But, yeah. It's really not necessary to get involved with her, as far as I know, and from that information, while it was helpful for the lore and stuff, I don't know if it's actually that helpful, considering people get in contact with you anyway, eventually, so it's like, yeah, kind of nice, but not really that necessary. Um, in this case, now that I did that, I'm honestly glad you didn't give me anything to do, because I uh, wanted to go do my own thing, thank you. Now, let's, I'm actually curious if that letter is still there. It is. I wonder if it goes away after a while. Who knows? Fuck it. That's what I was going to do. Um, I guess we'll save. Why not? And let me open up my auto clicker. Whatever you want to call it. My uh, spam clicker. Again, because I keep forgetting. And uh, where is it? Where is it? Oh, I know. Yeah. It's in the Daggerfall folder, whatever. And there it is. Great. My amazing spam clicker. It's pretty crazy how fast my stamina goes down. But I guess stamina is mostly determined by strength, so I guess, I don't know. Some shit like that. Um, but in any case, I'm in the Mages Guild. Do I particularly want anything from the Mages Guild right at this moment? I mean, like, I eventually want to do a bunch of stuff for them so I could get item making, because they're the only source that I will have for making items. Like, enchanting items, whatever. Um, the only other one, I'm, as far as I know, is Julianus, the temple, which I'm not going to join, because that's not who I worship. Not interested in that. But the, old, the other guild that I'm interested in is Dark Brotherhood, which I think I'll join a little bit later. Not right away. Um... But I don't want to stick around in Daggerfall just because, like I said, I think the other regions are cooler. Or at least it's cooler to go to the other regions than always sticking in this place that everybody goes to at the beginning and is forced into, essentially. <laughs> but it is the question of where, I guess. It's most likely not going to be any of these kind of snowy regions, even though some of them are pretty cool. I like, um, Taloon, because I like that little island. I like the islands, like Betany. Um, Antiquaire is cool, because I like the islands, and some of these other ones up at the top are pretty cool, too. Rothgarian Mountain's a little bit too big, and also kind of similar climate-wise. The Isle is a pretty cool one, but it's a little bit empty as one would kind of expect for how big it is, I guess, and also some of its involvement. So I'm, I'm thinking I'm probably going to go more towards the desert regions, just because I, I like the desert regions. Probably the desert ones and the kind of swampy ones, maybe here and the Daggertail Mountains, possibly. Stuff like that. Um, But is there anything... No, because the guilds are all in these places, too. So... I think... How about the first place we go to... Is... We'll give, um... We'll give... I've never really gone to this place much. I don't know why. Let's see. Hold up. Let's give Aya Sof Aya Sophia. Aya Sophia? I don't know how to say that. Aya Sophia. Let's give that a shot. See what see what interesting things we could find here. What's the patron Mara? Oh, that's fair enough. 
Not Xanathar, but what can you expect? Uh, oof. it's kind of an interesting name. Eh. So, where do we want to go first? It's not a very big region, but that's cool. You know, we're, we're probably going to travel around for a bit. Uh, interesting names, we'll give them that. How about... It'll make sense if we go to a shore anyway, I guess. So, let's go to Umbu... Or Umbo... Pala. Umbu... Umbu Pala. Umbu Pala. We'll go by ship. And... We'll travel cautiously. But let's... If that's the case, I might as well train my magic up a little bit. Why not? So I'm gonna get fully healed and everything. Uh, which ones? Let's do this one. Three, four, five, six. Then we'll do a little bit of this. And a little bit of this. Oh my god. Wait, what the hell? I don't know why that's casting, like, an ice ball like that. Um, that's weird. Is that how the incumbent effects work, sort of? They don't, um, like, stack the duration or something? That's strange. Or maybe some of them do and some of them do. I don't know. That's weird. Um... But let's check the spellbook. What the hell is up with the destruction training? Uh, that I thought it was area. I don't know. That's weird. I don't know why it's doing that effect. Maybe that's just how they work in Daggerfall or some in DOS Daggerfall, who knows? Anyway. Uh let's see. If we actually did train all those and stuff. But let's go to Umbupala. A region pretty far away where we from where we currently are. But not too long of a trip. Surprisingly, only seven days by ship. Destruction, restoration, loot, yeah, pretty much everything. Nice. Now look at that. You got the desert tile set now. Very nice. Very cool. You <laughs> got camels and everything. Guy is surprisingly dark though. I mean, what time is it? Whoa. Which by a young page who smiles in recognition and does not ask your name before you does not ask your name before he hands you a letter addressed to you. To all of your questions, he merely responds with a blank look and a smile. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. That crap. Dear City, in my eyes and ears. Uh-huh. My eyes and ears are abroad say that you are interested in the fate of a certain letter any emperor should not be so careless nor should a queen you really should come visit me in the cast in castle Wayrest. i have some most interesting tidbits that i'm sure you would enjoy hearing yeah maybe eventually but not right now i hear way rest are a bunch of assholes anyway so i'm not in any rush uh, save here. Now, what the hell was I doing before that distracted me? What time is it? That's what it was. It's 10 a.m. Is that 10 a.m.? Yeah. Huh. I don't know why the sky's so dark. Weird. Uh, this town is pretty damn small 
way smaller than I'm very I'm particularly interested in. So let's just check out what shops they got. Bargain clothing and something else. Molin Rascal. It's some kind of shop. General store. Eh. Seems like a quaint little town. I'll give him that. But definitely not the place I'm going to be sticking around. Just taking a little bit of a first place here from the ship. Straight from the ship. Claymore? Nice. Too bad I'm not into long swords. Hello, ma'am. Hello, miss. Oh, lag. Or not lag, but, but like a little frame stutter there. Effed me up. That, is that? I don't know how common that happens where you have two people in this in the house besides the, sh the shop owner. Usually it's like one. I'm not, um, mistaken. Got so many damn camels. I'll give you guys that. You like your camels. Can't blame you. I likes me a good camel, too. Not gonna lie. <laughs> Got a clothing store. Got a nice, like, corset going on here. Too much that I'm interested in right here. What the hell? <laughs> Those chain uh, greaves look pretty goofy. I'll say that. They look just as goofy with a thong on, on the uh, under them. This is a nice place, though. Like, as if the shelves weren't there, this is a nice designed house. Very comfy feeling. And I do like the floor uh, tile set. The blue, like, baby blue kind of tile set. And the, the walls look good, too. It's a nice tile set. In this region. Uh... Well, I don't particularly want to stay here, so I'm probably not going to ask for any quests or anything. But... I should ask where a nearby Mage's Guild is. If they're... Hula. Hulaya. Styrasa. Yeah, so there's, uh, a few places, but not too many. Jovi Calm. 
This place has really weird names compared to some places I've seen in game. Like a lot more weird names than I'm than I'm used to seeing. Is that one no. Did I spell it or something? Which one was it? I want I want a smaller place that has one. I'm picky. I don't want just the big cities that have them. Those are too big for my bones, too big for my taste. That might be promising, because he mentioned that one. So let's try. I can't even pretend. Bytha jet. Bytha ha jet. Bytha ha jet. <laughs> what a fucked name. Alright, well, let's train a little bit. Why don't we... Alright, let's, uh... Let's travel to fight Haha Jet. Uh... Cautiously. Restoration, yep. Nice. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, leveled up. I don't know why it's such a... Weird. <laughs> it's it took such a long time to process there for it. It's like okay. Um. Well, I say more intelligence because more intelligence and one point more in strength. Because both will be very useful. So what does that make my mana at? 210. Very nice. Very nice. Very nice. I also like a lot of the house kind of designs. The exteriors at the very least. For the... The uh, houses in like... Um, the southern part. The desert part of... Uh, the Iliac Bay, with, like, these kind of... It's, like, all, like... It's not all, but, like, kind of a car apartment complex kind of stuff. Um, stairways up to, like, second floors at the, the entrance. I don't know. It's, it's, it's kind of neat. Now, this is not a walled city, so... That is promising. That is promising to what... I am interested in. Baith ha ha jet. <laughs> Damn. Now I will say some of the building designs are a little bit annoying to navigate around, kind of. So we got like two stores, a few inns. So, five stores in total, and a mage's guild, and what else? And a temple. I wonder what the temple is. Let's check, why don't we? That would be north. That is apparently not the temple. Yeah, it's not. Wow. Jeez. Some of these buildings are quite the house for sale. That is a pretty neat house. The Benevolence of Mara. Okay, Mara Temple. East. We got General Store, the Bat, and the Barbarian. Uh, 
I might as well look around the town first and get the names of the places and stuff. But, so far, it doesn't seem too bad. It's a lot of houses, which is not that useful, but we'll see what the other stores and stuff are. Not saying I'm going to be settling here or anything, but at the very least to make a temporary hub for um, doing some Mages Guild quest. I like how the exterior is completely different from everything else. <laughs> Colors. Yeah, not the hugest, the biggest fan of these these kind of houses, just because they're a lot kind of more, uh... They're, they're varied, which is cool, but they're a lot more confusing to, uh, kind of be like, which one is which. I mean, the fact that so many say house for sale makes me think that there's a bank here or something. I don't know. That's all that I can really imagine. So we got two stores to the west. So many houses for sale. Quality Smith. Oh, damn. A weaponsmith. Pretty sure weaponsmiths buy armor. Which is real nice. But yeah, these are the these are the kind of cities that I like in terms of size. Like uh not big enough to have a wall. Oh shit, what time is it? It's, um what is that? Five? So And there is a bank here too, so you could buy a house here. I don't know, maybe I'll maybe I'll consider possibly this being a place. I don't know. But I mean so far it's kind of cool. It's it's got a mages guild. Um I doubt it has a Dark Brotherhood place, but I guess I'll have to find out eventually. But right now, this seems like a pretty cool um, place. And a jewelry shop, and that's, uh, yeah, it's, it's a pretty neat variety. It's a pretty cool town, I'll give it that. It's, um... It's moderately big, but not too too big. It's it's a pretty good size. Um, the only complaint is the um, it's a little bit weird to navigate due to all, how the houses are kind of uh, structured or whatever. God, man, I don't know why I have such a hard time clicking my V button or forgetting that that's the map button. East. I want to find that last store, and then I'll find an inn, and then we'll... So many houses for sale. Anti... Is this a pawn shop? It is a fucking... Oh, man, this is... This is a top-notch city in terms of just the variety in one place for the size and everything. This is, like, perfect. Not, like, perfect, perfect, but it's pretty much probably the best I'm gonna find in this region, that's for sure. But, I don't know, that's, uh, that's pretty cool. That is pretty cool. But let us get a room for the night. Um, there we go. Let's have a mead. And let's get a room for at least a day. And, uh... We will... We will train our magic. Yeah, this is one of those places with two innkeepers, I think. <laughs> nice. I wonder where it drops us anyway. Let's, uh, train a little bit again. I don't know why that's not casting everything. Weird. Fucking weird, man. 
Let's sleep for eight hours. Illusion, thermometry, blah, 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 blah. Um, what time is it? It's like two in the morning, so might as well train some more. And then sleep until red. Sleep until fully healed. Nice. You already see some of these things. Costs going down. But it is 10. Or almost 11. Illusion 29. Alteration 25. Why did some of the other ones show up? Weird. Very weird. But that's bugger fall for you. What's my restoration? 11. Destruction 14. Mysticism 7. That's pretty low. What's the other last one? Is there another one? Um. Alteration. Illusion. Thaumaturgy, yeah. That's not bad, I guess. Do I have a mysticism one? I do. Guess I gotta train that some more. Uh, but let us... <clears throat> let us go do a bit of shop shopping. Oh, that's one thing that's missing here is an alchemy shop. That would be useful to sell ingredients. So it's not perfect, but pretty close. Pretty close. What's my running <laughs> at already? 27, man. That's nuts. Uh, let's see. Got a general store. Let's go north. Got ourselves a general store. What did it say? Pointed better than most. Pointed is better appointed than many. It wears its wares lie neatly on shelves. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's pretty good. Not a great place to sell, basically. What's that? Iron. I already got iron. Thank you. Arrows. Uh, I'll buy some arrows. Always can use more arrows. What in the shit is this? It is a... It's like a sports bra looking thing. Kind of looks funny. Or it's like a... Yeah, kind of it is. That's a nice looking dress. Uh, I didn't have the cloak on. Yeah, that's that's a nice looking dress. The um other ones I've seen weren't as nice looking. Or that one that I first saw at the beginning of the game, I was like, that looks kind of stupid. Ooh, nice. More arrows? Sure. Not cheap exactly, but I'm definitely gonna be using them. Shops are definitely a little bit spread out. South. Maybe I'll remember to sell that stupid, um... Crappy enchanted iron tonto I can't even use. I 
pointed better than many. Ooh, damn. Fuck, man. That's expensive, that's for sure. Dwarven. Nice. Nice, son. And eh, not too many shelves, though, unfortunately. But, will you buy some of my crap? Well, apparently to them, that's worth something, so, sure. I'll get rid of that shit. That shit. Now, let's see. There's a bank and a jewelry store. Jewelry store. Unfortunately, without my, uh... My, um... Jewelry editions mod. I th I feel that besides for like one or two times, jewelry stores are basically useless. North, south, east, south. No, southwest. That's what I found at least. Is like, wow, why would I come here? <laughs> These jewelry stores basically do nothing for me. Where are we at? Eh. Quality Smith. Yep. Uh, there's the door. Laid out in a practical, straightforward manner. I think that's the second highest quality, I think. If I remember. Arrows. These leather. Plus four. Is that plus three? Plus four. What what material would that be? Um silver? Or is that steel? That's probably steel or some shit. Buy more arrows. Sure. Not too many shelves, unfortunately. Oh, I thought that was mithril for a second. Almost looked like it. Eh, nothing I'm interested in selling right now. Wait a minute, how many arrows? 70, okay. Eh. Maybe it's not the best. Definitely not the best, but... Probably an alright place to do some quest hubbing. Um... In the Mages Guild for at least. For this region. Um, I want to see some of the houses. What the fuck was it? There it is. Town houses. Oh my god, look at this shit. Almost a million fucking gold. Holy crap. Guess I can see why though, it's quite the big place. 
occupying the whole complex, essentially. These ones look kind of neat. I haven't seen them on the inside, but they look pretty neat. Yeah, I got a decent selection of somewhat interesting looking houses and stuff here. I'll give you that. I will give you that. Oh yeah, and I know you can abuse the shit out of loans and stuff if you want to. Um, I know how broken it is, so... Unless I need it for, like, enchanted items and stuff like that later on or some shit. I'm probably not gonna mess with the loans that much. They're... They're too easy to exploit. But I'll see. And if I do, then I'll probably keep the motto that I will pay them off. At the end of the day, just because, like I said, they're so... So broken. To abuse or whatever, so easy to abuse. Alright, so... Let's actually go to the Mage's Guild and... See about getting a quest or something. Uh, I'm pro Well, I'll see. I'll see what they offer me. I'm still an apprentice, so... I'm not expecting too much. save uh here i guess or the same goddamn structure it is what what is with this i i'm so i'm almost flabbergasted at how many places are using the same uh like design this is not this is unusual for me to find this many mage skills of the same type especially one that i really haven't seen often uh, playing before. Uh, let's... Uh, let's get some danger training, why don't we? Fuck it. Kind of a big waste of money, but money's not gonna be an issue forever. Um, probably. Uh, as well as it's just gonna get more and more expensive as we, uh, level up. Cuz... They decided to make a stupid formula like that, where it's like, oh, your level times 100. That makes sense, right? Not really, no. But sure, do whatever you want, Todd. Okay. Let's see what they got to offer. Uh, are you Sinian Nightlock the Apprentice? I almost want to say no, because I feel like this might be that fucking terrible quest. Um, how am I forgetting its name? I don't think it is, though. That one that's that gets you, uh, like, 100 minus 100 bounty or whatever. <laughs> uh, sure. Oh, good. I have a letter for you. Apparently more than simple chance brought you here. What? Okay, this this is probably a custom quest. I've never seen this, that's for sure. Um uh, What? The hell is this? Whoa. This is definitely a custom thing. That's yeah. The benevolence of Mara. Pytha ha ha jet. Pytha ha ha jet where we are at. Wait, what? Dear City of Dialogue. Oh, excuse me. Or have I come to speak with you on behalf of the Oracle, the wise woman of Hammerfell? The Archmagister of the Mages Guild has spoken highly of you as an honorable and talented caster of... <laughs> what the fuck? I've literally been in here like two weeks, not even. Please come meet with me as soon as possible. Time is a circumscribed commodity. Without your help, the Oracle's dark prophecy will come to the to pass in nine days, and all of I <laughs> Sophia will weep. I must see you soon. With cord cord yours cordially cordially the acolyte. Um. Okay. Well. I guess we'll go see what this uh, person wants. 
that's not what I was expecting, but uh, yeah, that's I'm almost a hundred percent sure that that's a custom quest or whatever a um modded quest. So north west. Now is it gonna be a good one? I don't know. That little setup there was kind of like, oh, well. I think you're bullshitting me, lady, because I've literally been in the guild for, like, two weeks. Not even. <laughs> I don't think the Archmage or whoever the Archmaster even knows who the hell I am. lady is it definitely not you might be you or you see look at all these rags like what is with that shit um okay didn't think it was you but sure thank you for coming Cynia. the oracle has foreseen the death of one of one of the great nobles of Paya ha ha yet. Paya ha ha yet. The noble Lela, Lelun. And like a pebble in a still pond, his death will lead to a great calamity for Aya Sophia. I have tried speaking with him, but I am not permitted to enter his company in the Riss residence. My mistress, the Oracle, intends to come to Paya ha ya yet. Speak with his grace. And I, and I last heard that she was in Silent Martyr of Mara. What? I'm not familiar with these parts, so I don't know how far away that is. I need you to either talk to Liliun and convince him to protect him. What? Himself, or find the Oracle somewhere near Silent Mara of, and bring her to see him. There is precise, precious little time. Please, I beg thee, hurry. Okay. Um. Ask me to find... Wait, what? Where is this quest that I just... Okay, there it is. It's the beginning. I don't know why the quest log is like that. Yeah, we're good. Weird how the quest log is doing this or whatever. Acolyte told me that he is attempting to convince to leave his wrist residence, least he die, and by dying, bring calamity to all that. Been asked either to speak with him myself or go to silent, blah blah blah, to escort the Oracle. The acolyte's mistress here, she might not be able to convince, blah blah blah. And again, so might I. Um, all right, so let's go to the wrist residence or find the wrist residence. I'm guessing it's here. The shit are you people doing? <laughs> that is fucking weird. Wow. Um, let's see, people, things work, um, local, no, let's see if asking about him would say where the wrist residence is, possibly. Where is that person? It's right there. Points the wrist. Right. Okay, thank you. That was easy. Uh, where though? Oh, this map is always so terrible. The wrist residence. It's like in the middle of town, right near the antique shop. Or whatever you want to call it. So, east. Southeast.
There it is. There it is. There it is. Save here, I guess. Are you the dude? Got an interesting little house here. Close the damn door. Now, out of curiosity, is is it just this one level or what? The fuck? No way. Is it really just this? What the hell? Weird. As I told that blasted acolyte, I am not interested in hiding my head because some mad and old crone had a bad dream about me. As it happens, I am waiting for some word about my love, Vaf... Vaf... Yilorn? Vaf... Vaf... Yil? God damn, these fucking names here. Was kidnapped. I will listen to his advice on this matter, but I will not go into hiding while he remains in danger. I should never have let him go within a hundred feet of the... <laughs> the penitentiary of Thostorm without proper escort, but I will certainly not abandon my love now. There is your answer. Wait, what? Uh, let him go within a hundred feet. Okay. Certainly not abandon my love now. There is your answer, Sinia Nightlock. Okay. So. I can go to the... Head of Tentry. That's a weird plant. It's a weird looking cactus, I'm guessing. I guess if I want to help this dude or whatever, I can go to this penitentiary of uh, whatever. So it is a multi-level building. Weird. Yeah, these buildings are fucking weird, man. They're neat in that way, but they're weird. I mean, do I have a time limit? Doesn't seem like it. Refuse to go hiding until he knows that his love, blah blah blah, has been freed from his kidnappers. Uh, has, yeah. If I rescued him from the penitentiary, he might listen to reason. Well, Dungeon Dive, or Dungeon Delve sounds pretty cool, so... Sounds like a plan. But a penitentiary, so there's probably gonna be thieves if that's a proper name for a prison or whatever. Alright, so let's see where that is. I I don't know. I'm not seeing any time limit that I know of. So I guess fuck it. I don't know, maybe the quest person, person who made the quest just didn't... I don't know. Who knows? Fuck it. We'll just go there. Even if we fail the quest, we'll have a dungeon. Dungeons are cool. I don't know. I'm under the assumption that right now there's no time limit, so fuck it. I'm just gonna rest. As if I was traveling carefully. <laughs> oh, those look funny. Oh man, look at all these icons. Holy crap. So let's... Let's head over to the penitentiary of whatever's face. Thustum. Travel cautiously. Something about a despairing cry, so I'm guessing this is actually a prison. Even though it looks nothing like a prison, but... Do any of the dungeon entrances in the vanilla game? Not really. Look look appropriate to what they are supposed to be? Not really. Gotta love some of the desert plants. Um, Alright, well, the episode's gone on pretty long. And it's pretty late here, so... 
I think this is a good time to end off, I guess. So I will save here and save here just in case, as I seem to usually do. And uh, in the next one, we'll see if we can find this guy's uh, lover that was kidnapped in this penitentiary. Return him and see if uh, we could somehow stop this supposed bad prophecy or whatever crap from happening. Um, and maybe in that indirect way help the Mages Guild somehow or something. I don't know. I got a letter from them, so yeah. But anyway, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed, and I will see you in the next one.